It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Ethiopia series, which we have strategically chosen to change sides. We, we thought on the Axis side, what, neutral Ethiopian Axis side, it wasn't working for us, you know, so we decided to make a switch out to the Democratic Allies. Because, you know, pink is all in right now. Pink is the color of passion, right? It was completely not a decision that was forced upon us. It was part of the role-playing aspect of the game. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so what are we doing? So we're waiting for you guys to get across Siberia. And then we're going to somehow make an amphibious landing. I don't know how, though, because if we ask for land, they won't give it us. So I actually don't know how we're going to do this. I guess maybe we could go here, then here, and then... Make an airport here, maybe? Go! Go! Oh, democratic, but no elections. Hmm. I don't think they know how democracy works, guys. I don't think they have grasped the concept of what democracy means. Hmm. Air superiority, of course. Of course. We have got a few planes now. Alright, here we go. Ethiopians, proud, proud troops. A long way away from home. Landing into, uh... Oh, they're still going pretty slow, aren't they? Come on. Come on! Oh, Soviet motorized. Lend lease has ended, okay. Can we go? Come on, dude, I believe. Is this... Oh, that's all one province. Okay, I thought it was two separate ones. They're automatically going to get this because they've got a... Oh, they've not got a claim on it. I don't even know what's going on. So, they get this land and therefore we don't get it. I, uh, I really don't think this is going to be successful, but we'll give it a shot. The Mexican opposition has declared war on Mexico. The Mexican Civil War. It's like World War One all over again. World War One. Hang on a second. Revolutionary Cuba. Ooh. Spain has joined the Allies. Spain has joined the Allies? Oh, they've... Uh, Francisco Franco has been overthrown. And we are now replaced with generic portrait number two, which is a quartermaster general. Oh, the new capital of Italy is uh, getting dissolved uh, in front of our eyes. Fight them. Push them back. You must win. Okay. So the war in Europe is pretty much over. Still hanging on to uh, Mill House. Mill House. And also still hanging on to uh, Bordeaux. For now, anyway. No. Nope, still hanging on. Still hanging on tight. So at this point, I'd try and paratroop over, but so that's not going to happen. I guess we exercise, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Um... Can we add anything on here? No. It's like uh, China is getting the upper hand and pushing them back. Unfortunately, we cannot use their airports. Oh no, can we? No, because we can't put. No, 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 no. It just. Well, I never knew that. Oh, it only shows allied ones, okay. I thought maybe there was a cheeky way that you could find out where the enemy airfields were, and you could use those to paratroop directly on their airfields to counter their planes. But there isn't. I thought there was an exploit there. I got very excited, but then I uh, was disappointed. Um... I guess we can make some submarines. And I guess as well, we could make some landing craft. 
British Somaliland, Eritrea. No! Oh! Desperately need steel. There goes our construction. All on the Chinese. Single handedly pushing them back. I realize I got T Debug turned on. I was playing around before in the, the menu. But trust me, no cheats. No cheats. Which I can see in my codes if you want. You guys playing as Brazil and I added political power to Iberia. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize that, but if you actually reset the game or load it up, those console commands still show. You guys think I'm cheating, right? You think I cheat on my games? You think I cheat? You think with this outcome I cheated? If I, if I was going to cheat, I was going to cheat to win, not to lose. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright. Alright, stop. Oh man, this is so obnoxious. It's like, we can't really do anything, can we? Actually, no, I think about it. No, we can. Ireland has declared war on the United Kingdom. What? Okay. Okay. Ireland was like, I just don't want to live anymore. I've had enough of life. And, uh, oh, here we go. Some Chinese troops are about to. Is this China? Like a ch it's like a Chinese flag. Oh, and they're marching on Dublin. Oh, well. Okay. GG. Not really interesting about taking Dublin, which is kind of surprising. Oh, what's this? Dutch have declared war on an island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the British are all like, what's this all about? The fall of Dublin. And, oh no, I'm going to take Cork too. And the British were like, oh well, we had that trouble in Northern Ireland and now we've uh, taken them back. Hang on a second. Why am I even in the peace conference? Oh, because they didn't join a faction. Okay. And they've been forced to go democratic, even though they were democratic before. Huh. Hmm. Okay, so how's the production going on there? Submarines. So here we go. Ethiopian Admiral. What a god. What a guy. Okay, what are we doing now? So we're going to grab our navy. And go here. I don't think there's any other... Oh, there's one here. Actually, I suppose we can go... I want a bigger base. Oh, that's a good one. Five. How big's their navy? Tiny. It has been... <coughs> it has been decimated by the Americans, I'm guessing. <coughs> Excuse me. We have got a, quite a lot of naval control. Oh, I guess I have to assign them. Oh, I can't assign them because we would need to wait for this. I guess... Uh, they're not going to go because naval supremacy, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. It doesn't affect me. I don't care about that, then. <coughs> Are they going? I bet it's not enough naval supremacy, is it? We like the intel to dare send invasions through the coasts of Sea of Japan. Might because we just need more plane uh, boats. Oh, could we use this airbase? <gasps> oh, that is it. We've found our golden ticket. Ah, oh, then again. They've got bombers here. 
Need to wait for them to arrive. They will arrive. I really don't understand that number that says accidents happened here. What is that all about? It's not really relevant, is it? Oh, are they going to lose this now? Oh, no, no, no. I remember in the old days when the AI never used to do amphibious landings. The old, old days. And everyone complained. Everyone wasn't happy. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, there goes our submarines. Can we do an amphibious? Nope. Too far. It's surprising there's no kind of upgrades for paratroopers, you know, like to have them longer range and such. And it surprises me that you can't use other planes to do that, you know. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Like, you can't use um, strategic bombers as paratrooping planes, right? Because that happened, right? Didn't it? Didn't it? I don't even know. Oop, fighting them hard here. Still not leaving the port, though. So we hover over this. It says, lack of intel for Sea of Japan and Coast of Japan. Have I just got them in the wrong provinces? So Sea of... Yeah, it's these two. So we just need to wait for more subs, right? Get more naval supremacy? I guess so. <clears throat> well, this is it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. How many German divisions? Guys, Pete, this is, this is what happened, guys. This is what actually happened in the war, remember? Remember, he wasn't sent to Argentina. He, J Hitler wasn't, wasn't exiled to Argentina. It was exiled to Hong Kong. Guys, get it right. Know your history, all right? Know that history, all right? All right, all right, all right. All right. Do we even need these? No, forget it. We got six consumer factories now. Yeah, I think the issue is we're lacking. Um, we're lacking naval supremacy. That's my assumption, anyway. Between 8 and 57. Ah, oh, that's because we've got crappy encryption, isn't it? Encryption decryption. Oh, look at this. The reassurgence of Nazi Germany in Hong Kong. Actual historical. Actually what happened in World Wars 2s. This is owned by Reorganized Nationalist China. Ah, but this is owned by Aussie Land, so I technically should do it here. I regret doing this because it's going to take all the time to build up the retention again, but ah, fuck it, who cares? We'll do it again. Again. Oh. That's, that's going through Japan. Oh, it's because he's going to walk through, okay. Allies grows. The influence of the Allies grow today when Portugal joined the faction. <clears throat> this will surely upset the political balance of the short term, but might stabilize in the long term. Only time will tell. Who would have guessed? I know, who would have guessed, right? Look at Portugal. Portugal's like, oh, I know the war's over, so I'm, gonna be, I'm just going to bandwagon and jump on. Jump on board. Pathetic. Pathetic. Alright, here comes my troops. Where are they? Oh, they're walking. Uh, it's going to take them forever to walk. We're going to have to railroad. Go, go, go. Alright, go here. This is a conflicted zone. Twelve enemy ships. 
Can't get over that. 26 German divisions in China. We've got some panzers as well. Alright, here they go. Go, go, go. Oh, we'll send us some guns, I accept. I think this might be one of the reasons why the Axis always lose in the AI games. It just seems to turn into this... I guess in the AI game it kind of turns into this big hug box where all the allies kind of just team up on each other, don't they? Um, not team up on each other. Uh, they all, well, all the allies kind of like trade equipment and share equipment and such. And the Axis don't get the ability to do that because usually they're always at war all the time, fighting away. I don't know, I just made that up. I don't even actually know if that's true. But it does seem a lot like when you're in the Allies, you seem to get bombarded requests of tasty guns left, right, and center. Is there any troops here? Yes, there is. One Chinese division. Okay, so I think we'll probably, we'll probably use this as a staging platform. So go here, and then go to my favorite spot. Yeah. Actually, my favorite spot's here, but I want to make sure I don't cross too many seas. Oh. Sinking those subs. <clears throat> Turkey declared one, the Republic of Bulgaria. Well. The Republic of Bulgaria is apparently not in the Allies, but Turkey would like a piece, please. Just a small piece. How many divisions they got? 9 to 16 versus 76. Wow. So how long is this going to take? 70 days. If I half this, it's going to take 35. I think 35 is probably going to be the the sweet spot. I don't think... Oh, there's no air bases. I was going to try and do some kind of landing, but it's not going to happen. No. Oh! The 30 divisions, the German divisions, have been annihilated. Annihilated! Another glorious victory for our submarines that did absolutely nothing. Here too. Just turn up for battle, but they get all the glory. Alright, what are we doing? Chief of Navy, Commons Rating and Naval Speed. Okay. How many divisions has the Japan got? 57. Eep. It's going to be a struggle. Alright, they're going to go around the world now. Go! Alright, they're actually going. Okay. They are actually going. What's the odds they land and get annihilated? So one of the joys of of naval invasions is that you don't have to worry about organization. Oh, there we go. Overlanded and it was pretty smooth. Got him. Got him. Iran has declared war on the Republic of Iran. There's a lot of civil wars happening in this mod, isn't there? Intervening in a civil war. My goodness. Isn't that against the Geneva Convention? What is happening here? What is this? Okay, so we're gonna grab my dudes. Oh, where have you gone? Oh, they're having trouble. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> you guys go here. Go here. Go, go. The Soviet Union has declared war on the Republic of Afghanistan, which is spooky. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I did not predict this happening. <laughs> what is going on? Well. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. <laughs> so, we have a Cold War gone hot. And, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Iran has joined the common turn. <laughs> yeah. This is actually happening in World War II, guys. Ethiopia invaded successfully into Japan. This is an actual historical event, okay. Oh, the Four of Warsaw, again! I think it already fell, didn't it? Now we have the Bright of, oh my god, 739? That's a lot of divisions, boys. Oh, did I just kill? Yeah, I know, I know they joined the Allies. I don't know why it told me that now. The Fall of Belgrade. So a lot of weird things happen when the sides get a bit wonky. Like a lot of like events fire like like just then that don't seem to make a lot of sense. Cause like, hang on a minute, those places already fell anyway. They already fell anyway. What the hell's going on? Do 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 do. I have no clue why my divisions are so strong and theirs are so weak. I have absolutely no idea. Because these divisions are pathetic in my honest opinion. The Philippines has joined the Soviet war. How about the Chinese? I bet the Chinese have not joined, have they? Oh, of course they're in their own faction so they can't. Look at all these divisions! Oh, damn! Free pockets. Pockets for all. Yeah, so, okay, so I don't want to diss this mod, okay, because this mod, it has potential, it is very good, I like the variety of different things you can do and whatnot, uh, but I usually don't get play that some of these kind of mods that have like massive overhauls, because in most cases a little weird shit happens, kind of like what's happening now, and in all honesty, it's cool and everything, it makes a nice, kind of nice funny series and everything, but... I don't know, I'm not a big fan of those kind of events. And that's the, kind of the reason why I've been putting this mod off a little bit, because I have a feeling that these kind of mods kind of have that impact on the normal, 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 normal game. No excuses, boys. No excuses. I played as Ethiopia. I got absolutely destroyed. Abs I want to say that in the comments below. I want everyone to say, Dave, you got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could join the common turn. Ooh. Actually, I can't because I'm already in the war with them, aren't I? Actually, am I at war with them? Oh, they've declared war on me, so I've got no choice. Look at this, boys. Communism versus capitalism. Who would win? Hmm? Who would win? 90% national unity. Aggressive, boys. Come on, we can do this. You have to believe. Alright, okay, so what do I do here? Do I launch my troops? I've got no convoys. Where are all my convoys? For trade and supply? I'm not trading! Oh, it's for the lend lease, isn't it? Oh, okay. Oh god, now I think about it. I have to go through all the countries individually and cancel the lend leases, wouldn't I? Man, that's a bit tedious. Right, we'll go five speed. Usually what happens when the Cold War happens, the game lags quite hard, and it does appear so in this game that the game is lagging quite hard. Uh, go here. Go here. Well, the good news is one of the wars is about to end, so maybe that'll slow down the, uh, the lag of the game, maybe. Who knows? Those state-of-the-art Ethiopian submarines.
Okay, they seem to be bunching up now and kind of providing some kind of resistance, which is nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. Okay, we managed to cross over to here, but then we're putting up a lot of resistance. Is this hills? Yeah, it is. I think if we're sneaky, we can probably get around the back of you. Yes, we can. Sadly, we need this port, though, to move further forward. Republic of Finland has declared war on the United Kingdom. Hmm. Let me guess, you're going to join the Axis now, right? Look at him. How has this happened? So, there is 0% democratic support in Finland. But the democracies, they're a democracy. Explain that one, huh? Huh? Explain that one. Did I ever say this mod was a bit wonky? <laughs> Just a little bit wonky. Just a little bit. No! Keep pushing! We have to break them! There we go, we got them. Got them, boys. Got them. Alright, we stop being aggressive. We're losing a lot of troops. Here we go. Got them, boys! I imagine they're getting crazy attrition. A total attrition of 0%. That's some crazy attrition, right? This is all hills, 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 hills. What is this? A tank division? Japanese tanks? This is madness! This isn't historical at all. What? This isn't a historical series? Dave, you've lied to us. Absolute lies. Actually, at this point, do I even need to? Uh, probably do. Oh, what's this? Aussies. Alright, let's just end this. Oh, they've all, they're all retreating out of here. Okay. Kill them. If we can get encirclement on them. We should be using our planes here. And how come this is controlled by... Oh, it is Ethiopia. I th for some reason, I thought I was gonna, it was going to be... I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was going to be... The colour was New Zealand. And I'm thinking, why does New Zealand control this? Why does New Zealand control this? And it isn't New Zealand, it's me. I think, I think we are the same colour. Who do you know, guys? The patriotic colours... Patriotic? Patriarchic? The patriotic colours of New Zealand are the same colours as Ethiopia. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Or not. Now right, what we're we doing? So, well, there's a lot of civil wars. <clears throat> Mexican civil war is about to end. The non-aligned versus the democracies. Democracies. It looks like the uh, the non-aligned are going to win. Oh, actually, what? Yeah, it's not aligned that's going to win. We've got some ferocious fighting in northern Germany. But no convoys, though. <gasps> oh, we've run out of manpower. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to switch you out to convoys now. Alright, get some firm resistance now. The, uh, the Japanese are digging deep. Alright, we've got our convoys back now. Shipping of the Katagara Uranium Received Due to the collaboration with Belgium government, the controlling uranium mines of Katagar, we have received a shipment of precious mineral of uranium. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but those events really amuse me. I think it's kind of bizarre how... <laughs> I don't know, it just seems kind of bizarre. Oh, looks like there's an opportunity for it. Oh, shit. Did I just click those off? I did. Whoops. I 
There's also a tendency for some of these kind of third party mods to quite lag quite hard, so that's usually one of the other reasons I always avoid them as well. That's one of the other reasons. You know what? You're going to be a field marshal. Alright, go, go, go. Two divisions there. We could bring the planes over. I never thought of that, could I? Where's the planes? Planes, planes, planes. Go here. Reorganized China has capitulated and the war in China is over. GG. Okay, I think we can make a steady push here. Slow but steady wins the race. Sacrifice. Got him. All right, so Japan is at 71 with capitulation. So Tokyo and maybe this city, and then we're done. Okinawa still holds in Japanese hands. 46 divisions. The Mexican opposition have joined the Allies. Oh. Oh, so okay, so the Civil War ended. And then they flip from non-aligned to democratic. Okay. okay. So here we go, boys. The ultimate clash of capitalism versus communism. Who will be the victor? We can't push into these divisions, can we? No, we can't. It's kind of an interesting area, this, isn't it? How it's kind of like all the coastline. Yeah, they're getting some crazy attrition, and so am I, to be honest with you. Yeep. The final offensive. Onward, my friends, to victory. Go, 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 go. Well, they, <laughs> the northern attack broke up pretty quick. We need to get to Tokyo. That's our main goal. I kind of like it when an urban spreads over multiple provinces, you know. There's a few instances in, I think, Krakow in Poland as well. Yeah, it covers one, two, three provinces. I like that as well, because it kind of... I know it gives the kind of simulation of kind of fighting over multiple districts and stuff. I think that's pretty sweet. We have taken at Tokyo. And at that... We'll end it on this episode. Remember to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment, boys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.